And something that the people in San Diego need is a clearer picture of militarization of the police. Because we see the schools in San Diego are now being given MRAPs, uh, the military mine resistant vehicles. And this is in wake. This is post Ferguson, Missouri. You know, I was there, many of the InfoWars crew were there. And we saw the big uh, MRAP vehicles, the guys in the heavy armor, the guys on top of the MRAPs aiming snipers at people, putting sniper dots on their chest. We've shown you those things. Uh, the curfew, the tear gas, the rubber bullets, the so Joe Biggs got shot by one. All the craziness that went on out there in Ferguson, Missouri. And after that, your police departments, your sheriff's departments, they started to discuss, or at least publicly, to you know, put a happy face on things. Do we really need all these things in our neighborhoods? And so now, you know, when some departments are saying, hey, we'll get rid of some of these things, Pentagon, come pick these things up. Now you have one of these things going to a, a school in San Diego, and this is the San Diego Unified School District. Police are receiving mine-resistant ambush, ambush protected vehicles, or at least one, as part of the federal government's program to hand down military equipment to domestic law enforcement. And they cite uh, these shootings at Columbine for their actions on doing this. And I understand the need to uh, protect your officers, but like I just said, this whole spectacle of force in Ferguson, Missouri, has some people on edge, including myself. And, you know, they use this for Columbine. And I'm sure that at places like uh, Ohio State, where they also got these uh, big military mine-resistant vehicles, they cite something like Virginia Tech, right? And I, and I do understand you need some heavy armor, some. You need some rifles, some, you know, trained rifle guys who can handle these situations from a distance because you're not always in a situation where, you know, your pistol or your shotgun will be effective. I understand that. And also with the armor, um, you know, other things as well. But, you know, I don't want this to be an all-purpose deal, just like we saw with Ferguson, Missouri. Uh, the Pentagon, at least on the faces, was saying, well, you guys aren't supposed to use this for, uh, you know, non-lethal situations where you're not engaged in an active shooter or something like that. You can't go out there and bully a crowd of protesters, just like they bullied a crowd of protesters at Berkeley. You know, the guy comes out and pepper sprays everybody. You know, you're not supposed to do those things. So at least on the surface, they're saying that they don't want these uh, police departments and these sheriff's departments to act this way, but they're giving them the equipment to do it. So when I see things like uh, San Diego or Ohio State, I'm very concerned uh, as to why these th guys think they need uh, such uh, weapons to combat a school population. Because it's not just the weapons, it's the training that these guys receive. And we see this story, cops brutalized teen girl over cell phone. The video captures the screams of Ixel Perez. She's pinned to the hallway floor of Sam Houston High School. One officer handcuffing her, the other has his knee on her head. It was embarrassing. This is Perez today, all four foot 10, 70 pounds of her. Outside the school, she says she will not attend anymore. And the issue about this is, is that this type of thing is not an isolated incident. These aren't some row cops, some dirty, hairy types. The issue is that these guys are being trained like this, whether it's a 70 pound schoolgirl with a cell phone or whether it's a, you know, a six foot six guy with a machete, they're trained to do the same thing. Get the guy on the ground, put a knee on their head or in their back. Like I did the uh, story last week about the SWAT teams engaging some guy in a, in a swatting uh, prank, I guess you would call it. And I don't blame the SWAT team for responding to the issue because you get a call, you don't know if it's true or not, so you got to send your boys in. I understand that. But they come in, they put a gun to the guy, get down the ground, put a boot in the guy's back, you know, stay down there, boy, and all this stuff. And they have no idea who this guy is. You know, and, you know, this thing could happen to you. You know, whether you're in school or some other thing, you encounter a SWAT team or, you know, some uh, overly aggressive officers who have been trained to act that way. And then, you know, they're asking you all the tough questions. Who are you? What are you doing here? And you have no idea why they're there, so you can't even answer their questions. And that's the problem with the militarization of the police, about the uh, brutalization of the police. Not all police are bad, but you have to change these uh, very bad policies. City of Austin tap water versus filtered city of Austin tap water. I can, like, taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. This has an aftertaste. Tastes like Austin water? Yeah, it does. Ah. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. High quality H2O. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, Monsanto's deadly pesticide, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. 
It has uh, that uh, processed flavor to it. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances and many more, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. <laughs> Go to InfoWarsStore.com today. Use promo code WATER and save 10% off your ProPure purchase. Again, that's InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-888-253-3139.